Hello and welcome to my channel. Three months ago, I started to build brushless motors, human size, 7 degrees of freedom robot arm. And I already built the axis number one, so the axis in the shoulder, and the axis number six and seven, meaning the axis in the wrist. Today, I decided to take uh, another approach. Instead of using the cables, try to use the 3D printed gears. I don't really like the plastic gears, especially the 3D printed plastic gears, because they do have the backlash and I'm afraid that they're gonna wear quite quickly. But nevertheless, I would like to try this and uh, let's see how it's gonna work. And in the next video, we're gonna see how reliable is these gears. So today I'm going to show you the part which I built. This is a part of the robot arm which goes from the shoulder to the elbow. So this part. It's a uh, human size, meaning that it has uh, more or less the same proportion, at least in terms of the distance between joint to joint. I use these two motors. So the motors 9235 with 100 kV. And uh, these motors can produce maximum of 4.7 Newton meters torque, which is a lot. But you should understand that this is like really maximum maximum. I mean that at this torque, this motor heats up like really crazy. Without cooling, it's like in 30 seconds, it goes from the 20 degrees to 60 degrees. Or you need like super efficient cooling system. And you will see that in my system, I have two types of reduction. I have the belt reduction and planetary gearbox reduction. And these two reductions gives me the reduction ratio of around 8, a little bit more than 8. And like this, this robot arm is gonna be quasi-direct drive. So this joint is gonna be quasi-direct drive joint. Meaning that it should be reliable, it should be well back drivable, and it should sustain some impacts. And I also use a differential system. So like this, two motors work at the same time. But I'm gonna show you. So let's see. And this is our beauty. First of all, we have two brushless motors. They are connected to the belts, one belt and another belt. So there is a belt transmission. This pulley here is just to tension the belt. And by the way, all the black parts, they are gonna be replaced by the carbon fiber parts in order to make this robot more stable and more rigid. So there is a planetary gearbox inside. One here and one here. And with these bevel gears, we have differential joint. This is the output. So basically here we will connect the wrist of the robot. And over here you can see the O-drive. Here I have the channel for the cables. Like this through this channel, cables is going through this bevel gear to the output shaft. For the moment there is only these two cables which are coming out. So this is a power cable and this is serial cable to connect uh, the O drive with RS232. And this gray part is just a support in order to keep this joint in vertical position. And this is the electronics which I prepared for this uh, robot joint. But basically this electronics uh, is capable to run entire future robot arm. Uh, we have here uh, this big power supply. This is 48 volts power supply for the O-Drive. I'm not sure that it's gonna be enough for the entire arm, but it's definitely enough to power up two motors. This small power supply is to provide 5 volts for the TNZ board. And this is a TNZ 3.6. Why do I use the TNZ 3.6? Because it has a lot of serial outputs. Like this, I can control many O-Drive modules at the same time. I basically need to control the four O-Drive modules because the robot arm is going to be the seven degrees of freedom. So seven motors. So I need at least uh, four O-Drives to control seven motors. This big button is uh, emergency switch and also the switch on off. And here, this part, this is a four small PSP joysticks. So they can actually move up, down, left, right. And with these four joysticks, I would be able to control four O drives. So for the moment, only the first joystick works, this one. And with this joystick up and down, left and right, I can control two motors. The wire which is coming out from this board has uh, two connectors. This XT60 is uh, for the power 
and this one is for the serial. So let's connect them and let's see how it works. Communication RS-232 and power for the O drive. Let's switch on power. And the robot arm starts calibration, so this is the first motor. And the second motor. This LED indicates uh, that the motors are calibrated and they hold their position. So if I try to rotate the motors, they come back to their position. Now I can move it with the joystick. Let's do this. Haha. <laughs> Haha. So when I move the joystick up and down, the two motors rotate in the opposite direction. And like this, this axis rotates. And when I'm moving the joystick left and right, this axis rotates. Looks cool. And if you look closely on uh, this pulley and on this bevel gear, you will see that there is a reduction ratio between them, meaning that there is a gearbox, planetary gearbox between them. Because this pulley rotates quite quickly and this uh, bevel gears rotates uh, slower. Actually 4.75 times slower. And by the way, this is a gears which I 3D printed for the test. So this is a planetary gears which exactly the same as the gears inside this piece. I would like to show you the design. So this is a Fusion 360 file. And uh, as you can see, I only draw the part of this joint or the part of this upper arm. The other half is uh, the same, uh, but just mirrored. Here inside I have the place for the O drive. I also have the place here for the braking resistor. This is the channel for the cables. So the cables comes through these holes to the O drive and coming out through this hole and through this bevel gear to uh, the next uh, joint. I can also show you the planetary gearbox. So I need to hide this piece, I need to hide this piece and this one. And so now you can see that this red piece is a planet carrier, the blue piece is also planet carrier. This is a ring gear and this white piece is a sun gear. You see, sun gear. So design is quite simple and it's also easy to build. So that's why I like this design. It looks really cool actually. I limited the current to the 5 amps. So this is a really low current for these motors. And also the speed is limited because I control it by a joystick so I don't wanna smash it. And off! Okay, let me show where this part is going. So this part should go between the shoulder and the elbow. Actually this is the elbow. So we should go somewhere here. Ha ha ha! huge arm, like really huge piece. And I think it's weight almost four kilos, which is quite a lot. Maybe I will try to reduce the weight. Again, this 
upper arm has the belt reduction and also planetary gearbox reduction in each of these parts and the differential with these three huge bevel gears. It took a lot of time for me to draw these bevel gears in Fusion 360, but finally they works quite well. Also this robot joint features these two huge motors. And why I need these huge motors? Because I use quasi-direct drive system, so meaning I use a small reduction ratio. Here the reduction ratio is a little bit more than 8. And also I installed the ore drive inside this upper arm. Like this there is only two cables which is coming out, the cable for the power and the cable for the communication. There are several things which I would like to improve uh, in this uh, design. First of all, I would like to improve this uh, pulley for the tension in the belt. I would like to put the belt like this from this side of the pulley. And uh, also I would like to install uh, two fans in order to cool down the motors and cool down the ore drive. But this is for the future video. And in order not to miss this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new to my channel. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Don't forget to like this video, don't forget to share this video and don't hesitate to put your comment under this video. Like this, this will help me to boost this video and to promote my entire channel. Also, you can support my channel through the Patreon or through the PayPal, all the links in the description to this video. And here are the names of my patrons. This is the best people who help me with my channel, who help me to buy the parts and stuff like this. You are the best. Thank you a lot. I will continue with the design of this robot arm and probably very soon we're gonna have the entire arm. This would be really nice. And this is gonna bring the robot revolution. See you next time.